guys my name is Michelle welcome back to my channel today I'm going to be doing this beautiful eye look for you using the Path McGrath um, palette so if you want to see how I achieve this look stay tuned please don't forget to like share subscribe and also turn on your post notification bell so you'll know when I upload my next video until next time I'll see you take care Happy holidays! Hey guys, I know you're looking at me and you're saying, well, our face looks kind of done, but not quite. So, I'm just going to be doing my eyeshadow featuring this little palette here. Not a little palette, a big palette. Um, this is a Pat McGrath um, Celestial palette. And i um, just going to be doing my eyes. So I already did my face, um, I fill in my brows, I prime my lids using concealer. So um, first shadow that I'm going to be using is um, Sunrose Amber for my um, transition <laughs> color. I purchased this palette during the um, Sephora sale, which was quite pricey. And then two weeks later, on her website, I looked and it was like 30% off. I was so mad, but it's okay. I think it was worth it. It's really beautiful and the colors are pigmented. Okay, so let's start with the transition color. We're going to be using, like I said, this color here at the top. Second row, second color. Sunrose Amber is the name. Alrighty, so... Let's just brush that in here. Colors are bright and pigmented. Mm -hmm. And this is a Morphe brush. See how nice this blending. All right, through the other side, and this mirror is so beautiful, nice and big. I love it. So I don't use, I don't have to use a separate mirror. This is perfect. I'm not doing anything too crazy. Something very simple that anyone, even if you're just learning how to do makeup, can follow. You know what I'm saying? All right. So that's good for the transition. I'm going to use the same brush and I'm going to dip into that brown color which is called Nocturne. Okay. And I'm just going to put that a little bit below. Look at this brown. Oh my goodness. I didn't really leave my powder under for any fallout. So let's hope it's not too much. Let me zoom you guys in a little bit. So you could see what I'm doing. I'm just taking that color right below the first color. So easy to use. And I haven't changed my brush because the colors are similar. One is just a little darker. So I'm just using it, the same brush. Did I say colors? I think I said brush. 
I'm sorry guys. I'm gonna focus that on the outer part. Let me bring this down to my lid and focus that on the outer corner also. I'm probably only going to use like three colors just to do this eye. Let's just stamp that right here, like push it in first. All right. We're going to get another brush. I'm going to use this other Morphe brush. There is no number on this one, but it came from the same brush set that the other one. And I'm going to go back with the first color, which is this one here. And I'm going to make sure the edges are buffed out nicely. go back with this other brush that we were using before I didn't put any extra product on there just to blend everything now for my inner corner or inner lid space I think I want to use you know, since it's kind of Christmassy, I think I want to use this green color. So you can use, you can do this look if you're going to like a, um, a Christmas party. You know, I changed my mind. I want to do this gold color up here. And that gold color, which is number three on the left, it's called Gold Galaxy. Okay, the name fits. All right, I'm gonna use my other mirror here because I wanna make sure that I'm seeing exactly what I'm doing. Ooh, wee. Wow, wow, wow. Do you guys see that pigment? Look at that. Wow. Come on. Auntie Pat, what are you doing to me? Okay. I'm just taking that like halfway. Cross my lid here. I'm gonna go a little bit above my crease. Like I'm cutting my crease, but not really. And this color is going on like butter. So easy. You guys see that? Let's go a little bit above my crease. You can definitely wear this look to a Christmas party. Or just even if you're gathering with your friends and your family, that's fine. Okay. All right, we're gonna go back to the brush. First brush, get the black color, the brown color, I should say, and just, you know, blend out the edges. I'm getting a little bit of fallout, but that's okay. That's expected because the color is so pigmented. Oh, I'm going out with my lipstick. Okay. All right, that's fine. Now, without adding any more extra, I'm just going to go a little bit above the edge of the gold shade just so that it won't look too sharp and just like blend it out like that and all right 
now I'm going to use the first two shades and do my under eye. I'm going to blend them together. Use more of the lighter color. All right, let me just dust off my under eye. All right, guys. Okay, guys, I'm back. So I have a little glitter on my face. From the shadow so I just went to get my my brush my powder brush just to brush it out so that's basically all I'm going to do to my eyes let me zoom you guys in all the way so you could see so what I'm going to do is just step off camera I'm going to apply some lashes and I'll be right back to finish up the video okay guys so I'm back I went to put on my lashes. Um, I had the hardest time. I bought the Ardell magnetic lashes that comes in this box. Worst idea. First of all, they couldn't stick. Oh, I had to end up using um, lash glue. And then I cut them, they weren't fixing properly. It took me forever, but I'm back. Alrighty, so we're done with the eyes. Um, now what i'm going to do is since it's a little christmasy let me put this green color that i was going to originally use which is down here let me put that one into my um in a tear duct and see how that looks you know a little christmas vibe Zoom you guys back in a little. Okay. All right, let's see how that looks on the inner corner. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, okay. zoom you guys all the way in a little bit more do you guys see that green oh that's nice okay and brush off some of this glitter alrighty now that we did that let me zoom you guys back out a little bit and um all right, I didn't bring a blush, so what I'm going to do is use this color here. Actually, I'm going to mix this color and that one for blush shade. So, you know, this color, this palette could be multifunctional. You don't have to use it just for your eyes. And that's pretty. Make sure I'm brushing that out good. I think I may have gone a little high with this one. So can just keep your keep your um foundation brush handy. And just to top off the look, I'm going to use, I'm sorry guys, I just have my stuff here on the side of me. I'm just going to highlight my um, face a little bit with the uh, MAC Oh Darling highlighter. Just so I can glow a little bit. And then I'm going to put 
put a little bit on the bridge of my nose and then on the tip of my nose right here I think that's good what do you guys think of this palette I know you love it I know you love it it was worth it for sure right it was worth the coins and I'll buy another one okay so that's about it let me leave me some comments and let me know what you guys think of my eyes I think they're beautiful and um, very festive so I hope you enjoyed okay guys so we have come to the end of the video um, I think my look turned out beautiful I enjoy using this palette the colors were pigmented you can create all sort of looks with this palette so I hope you guys enjoy watching as I did creating this look for you and I'll see you next time. Take care of yourself and each other. Bye.